Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got another mailbox for you. And as you can see, I already pulled it out of the box because the box was just too large for me to be able to um, put on the table. This was actually brought to me from a local customer, and I met him yesterday, came out to the shop, and just love meeting the customers because it's just nice always just to kind of meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. So what do we got here? Well, we've got a wizard. This is the Iching Wizard 220X. And, you know, I'm not going to do a review on this. There's been so many reviews out there on this particular ready-to-fly quadcopter or drone. And um, this is never been flown. The customer wanted to do some upgrades to it right off the bat. So he kind of started them, some of them and decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and let somebody else do it. So I'm glad to do it. We're doing basically a power upgrade to this and, and just really upgrading the components that are lacking. Okay, so let's go to the first one that's lacking and that is this. This is the stock really cheap CMOS camera. And you know, for FPV, if we, if we can, we definitely want to get a CCD camera. And so that's what he did. He, he got a run cam Swift, which is a great little camera, and uh, put a 2.5. It came with a 2.8 lens, and he put a 2.5 lens on there. So that is a really great upgrade. The second upgrade that we're going to do, let me see if I can find it here. Everything's kind of stacked in all these little areas. Here we go. So he's going to upgrade from the stock Iching. 200 milliwatt VTX to a Fox Ear 600 milliwatt VTX, and these are workhorses. They're they're not flashy. They're they're not the smallest. They're not the lightest, but they are just really good and strong and um, last a long time. So that's a really good upgrade. And then let me see. Well, he. He does have a session. You can. It's actually in the box here, because I'm going to tune it with the session. And then he has this nice 3D printed adjustable. You can see it adjusts there, in and out. Um, adjustable camera mount. Now the nice thing is, is he's new to this hobby, so he'll start out at a really low angle and be able to adjust it as he gets better. So that's a really, he really thought this stuff through, and I really like that. Um, top plate standard he's going to upgrade now I know I think in the box he's got two different antennas that he included if I'm not correct no they're yeah yeah so he well actually they're the same he they just came in no I think they're one's a little bit shorter so these are both immersion fat sharks it comes stock with a linear antenna and actually um, Linear antennas are not a bad thing. Uh, we will, um, you know, a lot of people still are running circular polarized and not that they're bad, but the linear antennas, they just, they last longer as far as, um, as far as durability. And I've, for me, they, they work plenty good. I haven't seen any real noticeable difference. So, uh, these side plates, those are going to go because there's no reason for it and it just adds weight. Um, but the main, we are going to put a buzzer. He sent two different buzzers because he didn't, wasn't sure which one to get. But the main upgrade that we're going to do is right here. And you guys probably already know what this is. This is the new Mr. Steel motor. This is from TBS. Get a good look at that and really nice smooth motor i put this on a um, schizo frame and just really like the power delivery it's not the most powerful motor out there but it gets the job done so that's going to go on we are going to soft mount them just uh, because it just, you know, he asked me about soft mounting and, and, 
you don't have to soft mount everything on some things it works on some things it doesn't really need it but my thing is is from if if you're already building it soft mounting it's not a huge added cost you might as well add them add soft mounting because it's not a disadvantage there's no real disadvantage to running them so it can only help so we're going to run soft mount on this and get it built get it tuned and he's going to have a lot of fun this when this is done this will actually be a, a really capable have great vtx great camera uh, smooth better power delivery and more power so um, i'm excited about this i might do i'm trying to i know i'll do an after run video on this but um, we'll just kind of see so that's what's in the mailbox today this was more than just a mailbox because it was a mailbox and kind of a mini review or you know little build out here so thanks so much guys appreciate you check out my website xframesfpv.com and you can see pricing i also um am, am doing training for people i do one-on-one -on -one training for people from um you know beginner to more advanced if if somebody you know is just getting into the hobby or they want to learn and and get better at what they're doing so you can see some of that there's the beginner classes are listed on the website and the price and then if you want more information just contact me and I'll, we'll talk about what you're looking for again thanks a lot guys hope you have some time to fly <laughs>